So the total duration of your route from India to Canada was 18, how many hours? And that was the tricky part. That would have been even more tiring actually. Too much politics for us to handle. You know? Hey guys, this is Gursaheb and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing very well. तो यार जैसे कि आप सब लोग जानते हो कि इंडिया से कनाडा की जो फ्लाइट्स हैं वो बैन हो रखी हैं सो स्टूडेंट्स एंड अदर पीपल आर ट्रैवलिंग टू कनाडा वाय डिफरेंट कंट्रीज वहाँ पे वो लोग क्वारंटीन कर रहे हैं कुछ दिन के लिए एंड देन वो कनाडा पहुँच रहे हैं तो आज की वीडियो में हम बात करेंगे हफजल से हु केम टू कैनेडा वाया आबूधाबी फ्रॉम इंडिया एंड उनको क्या क्या डॉक्यूमेंट्स की रिक्वायरमेंट पड़ी कितनी कॉस्ट पड़ी उनको कितना टाइम लगा ये सारी बातें उनसे जानते हैं एंड बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक यू टू प्लीज हिट दैट लाइक बटन एंड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल इन ऑर्डर टू सपोर्ट मी एंड नाउ लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद द वीडियो सो थैंक यू अफजल फॉर एक्सेप्टिंग माई इन्विटेशन एंड कमिंग ऑन दिस वीडियो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बिफोर स्टार्टिंग और बिफोर आस्किंग यू एनी क्वेश्चन वुड यू लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ थैंक यू फॉर इन्वाइटिंग uh i am from kerala and i have come to canada now uh, for the september intake to join uh, in seneca for a supply chain course and how long is the course uh it is till next september so it's a one year course it's an eight month course what have you done in india like have, are you a graduate or you are coming directly after the 12th uh yes i am a graduate i have uh, completed my bachelor's in business administration and do you have any work experience back in india um yes i do have one year of work experience in a retail sales i work for an oil uh, retail sales sector okay okay that's nice i why do i feel that i'm sounding like an interviewer <laughs> <laughs> so uh, tell me when did you come to canada i got to canada on august 18th okay uh, of 2021 yeah okay so and when did you fly from india i flew from india on august 18th itself Okay, so Hafsal, can you tell our viewers that what was your exact route? Where did you board and where did you deboard? So, uh, my route was from Kochi mm -hmm. to Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi to Toronto, which is Pearson Airport, okay. uh, on uh, August of eighteenth. So, um, I booked uh, through Etihad uh, Airways. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, not me. Actually, my agent booked through Etihad Airways. They were forwarding me. With the tickets actually, so that uh, the ticket was from Kochi to Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi to Toronto. Okay, yeah. so there was no other place to quarantine, or you had a layover or something like that. To be exact, uh, our, my flight from Kochi to Abu Dhabi was of three hours. Mm -hmm. That was at one o'clock in the night. Mm -hmm. We flew to Abu Dhabi. Once I reached Abu Dhabi, we had a layover for five hours. which is where uh, we had to take our rt pcr test mm -hmm. from uh, before entering canada yeah so we got our rt pcr test done from the airport itself uh, it took us uh, uh, i think approximately 2 to 3 hours mm -hmm. for the whole process to get over mm -hmm. but yeah from there we flew to toronto and reached by early morning Okay, so you said that your duration of the flight from India to Abu Dhabi was three hours, and what was the duration from Abu Dhabi to Toronto? Uh, it was thirteen hours. It was thirteen hours. So there was no air in between, like from Abu Dhabi to Toronto. You didn't stop. No, it, no, it was it was one flight going from uh, Abu Dhabi to Toronto by Etihad Airways on eighteenth of August. So the total duration of your route from India to Canada was eighteen. How many hours? So I can say thirteen plus three, sixteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Some around twenty hours, twenty, twenty-one hours. So it's, it was kind of a direct flight, but you had to take a test in between. Yes, and that was the tricky part. I mean, that was very hard at that point of time because this flight was very. I, I don't know. We got this ticket, and it was only eight people of us in from India who was traveling in this flight. So. Yeah, uh, it was quite amazing to see one flight, which is only with eight people of Indians going from here to there. So, can you tell me the total cost of the trip? The cost was two lakh five thousand rupees. So, what happened is, uh, this offer was given to me in uh, one day. So, my actual route was from Kochi to Cairo, Cairo to Toronto, mm -hmm. but. uh two days before my flight uh, my agent gave me a call and said uh, the flight has been cancelled because cairo it's filled with students and the airport is having some issues happening there okay. but abu dhabi is opening up tomorrow 
which is she's telling this to me on probably 17th and 18th is my flight so i had to pay 10000 more mm-hmm. so book that ticket and fly to canada as soon as possible so basically you were ready to fly via cairo at the end moment the plan changed yes at the end moment the plan changed exactly were you supposed to quarantine in cairo uh, no but i had a layover of at least uh, probably 13 to 14 hours in cairo the test was also included in this price you didn't have to pay anything extra for this test no the the test was excluded it was excluded Yes, the t- the test was ex- this was only the ticket price. How much did you pay for the RT PCR test? I paid three thousand seven hundred rupees in Abu Dhabi. So, did you face any kind of problems while you were like giving your RT PCR test, or while you were in Abu Dhabi? No, it's not a problem actually, but there was quite a lot of delays happening in the RT PCR test. Uh, they were not quite sure about uh, how many people they had to take RT PCR test from and. when they had to give the result to us they had no idea because mm-hmm. they are not checking our uh, boarding pass before taking our ticket they are just checking our passport so they have no idea when our flight is going to leave right so, right. so that timing they, they and i think we were one of the first batches traveling from uh, abu dhabi airport so even the airport authorities was not quite sure what ha- what is the procedure that has to be done here mm-hmm. but yeah i think they figured everything out within one hour how much time did that rt pcr test take you uh i think up to 3 hours 3 hours it could be faster right now when i boarded the flight mm-hmm. it was not that fast i mean uh, we got the result on paper yeah. in toronto airport really? we did not get yeah we did not get it from abu dhabi airport we got it from toronto airport so there was a representative waiting in toronto airport with the result and yeah he just passed it to us eight people and we went through the immigration so was there any chance that you could miss your flight because the rt pcr test was taking so long almost 3 hours and you had a very short layover there was a chance there could have been a chance you know it's, it's always a possibility mm-hmm. but uh, luckily the uh, authorities were understanding that they have to provide us with the result and things like that so they were able to manage that they waited for us actually it was half an hour delay mm-hmm. the flight was delayed for half an hour but still they could manage the time in the air what documents did you show at the delhi airport or the kochi airport basically the kochi airport uh, i showed my passport in the boarding area i showed my passport and they asked if i'm a student i said yes and uh, i had to submit my uh, offer letter and she just checked the offer letter put a stamp on the offer letter and gave me the boarding pass when you were leaving abu dhabi for toronto so what did they check any documents or was there any kind of oh, other than uh, uh yes uh, we had to uh, check our arrive can app we had to fill that arrive can app out perfectly and keep the receipt ready and we had to show it in the boarding area before boarding the flight so that was one document and they will check your passport also uh, to check if you are the person and yes that that was the document that was from abu dhabi airport and the immigration at canada how was it uh, the immigration at canada was actually very 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 smooth mm-hmm. uh, we had kiosk over there uh, and uh, once we go ahead and fill our things in the kiosk uh, we go with the declaration form to the immigration officer they will stamp and give it give it to us so did you face any kind of problems in the whole route while traveling from india to canada via abu dhabi not really it was actually a very good route it was a very smooth route mm-hmm. but there are few things that we will have to take care of the timings and uh, other the rt pcr and things like that and i think the rest will be very smooth i hope uh, whoever is traveling through that route have a safe journey too so any tips you would like to give to the people who are planning to travel via abu dhabi because i'm sure after watching this video some people will start planning yeah uh, the tip is uh, nothing much i am hope sure everyone knows what to do everyone has their own documents in their hands mm-hmm. keep everyone's documents safe that's one only thing identity that you guys have keep that with you guys and just show it to people whoever you have to show it to and uh, i hope uh, everyone has a safe journey and comes to canada so how are you liking canada are you enjoying yourself canada is good i'm getting i'm still getting used to the things over here i'm just one week old here i'm not that 
hold here. So, so thanks, Afzal, for uh, coming on this video and sharing this useful information. So thanks a lot and all the best for your studies here in Canada. And I hope you will enjoy your stay in Canada and you'll after that, you'll get your job and you'll get your work permit, all those things. Hopefully, hopefully. And uh, thank you, Mr. Gusai, for inviting me here. So that was Hafzal and I hope you will like video and be useful and you will get a lot of information. So if you are planning to travel to travel to Canada, plan kar rahe, so you can take this information le sakta hai and can plan accordingly. And if the video is good, please hit that like button. And to watch more such videos, please subscribe to this channel. And as always, stay healthy and keep hustling.